June Ambrose here with the Epiphany Girl. You know, I love these moments because it's like girl talk and it feels like we're sharing a little bit of our whispers that we always do on set, which is uh, it's like Mean Girls kind of vibe. Outrageous. You're so bad. Album cover is so amazing. Oh my God. How much fun do we have? That's the cover right there. Chicness, darling, chicness. She gave you haute couture from Paris, Long Island. <laughs> Her set is so extremely focused on this album, this project. She is e enthusiastic, explosive, alluring, attractive, Go on. Go on. Um, confident, and a heel-stepping, dancing vixen. No, you're the heel. <laughs> Oh, that was my way of getting my plug in. I'll step out of the heels. You can hold on to the. No, but she's really working a stiletto these days, right? I'm trying. Stiletto dance? There it is. And one and two. So they thought I was being worked by strings. I can't take it. And four and up. five. Do you think you influence all the uh, fabulous black women? I, I'm really, really excited about being a black woman in this industry uh, because there's so much that. Uh, has been left out of our representation that I get to be a part of. Um, I'm a classic girl who loves to have fun. Uh, and so for all the other girls who are comfortable being classic and classy, uh, I'm here to represent them, so. Can you see the bras and stuff behind me? Because that is a little personal, don't you think? I probably shouldn't put her on blast like that. But she does have the breasts that I always wanted. How does it make you feel when you see an overtly vulgar um, woman? Because I feel a sense of sorrow. I got to be honest with you, June. And this is one thing about being black that is exciting. When uh, our girls wear bikinis mm -hmm. and stilettos on video, mm -hmm. we're called mm -hmm. names. Mm -hmm. but when, Poochie, chicken, all kind of, yeah, I got a bunch of them. But when we take our kids to see the Rockettes, and 42nd Street. Take it to church, girl, fashion church. And they have on the same exact sequin uh, bathing suit and stiletto. Preach it. And they're kicking up their legs and we can see all their hind parts. Hallelujah. All of a sudden we're paying hundreds of dollars to go see them with our families. It's a double standard. So I can't be mad at my girls uh, who want to shake it. I'm shy. I'm not going to do it. But um, I mean, to each his own. I can't knock anybody's hustle. Everybody sees beauty in a totally different way. No, I preach that all the time. You know how we talk about that from inception. It's about finding yourself in the garment, not the garment finding you and looking at you. I don't know it's like, don't be a hanger, darling. Don't be a hanger. The garment is just stuck in all your crevices. Yes, 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 sure. yes. But a super curvy girl, should she be in a pair of sequins poom pooms? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. Because you represent a hot curviness to me. We're about, now we're talking about curvy black girls. Y'all just said black girls. But honey, well, let's talk about the curvy black girls. No, every shape has a, has, a, has a different story. Every shape has a way that they should be uh, put in clothes. Um, so it's almost like a fashion therapy, like you can actually use clothing to manipulate your body without having the plastic surgery. I think that so much of us are so upset with our bodies that we are just upset with people who have other bodies, and so we steal their clothes. Go to the store and buy clothes for you, not for your skinny cousin. Sorry. It's because of you. <laughs> dance, I'll sing you dance. Uber Twidlicious, that's mine. Uber is your word. How many times do I use Uber today? I'm a drama queen. Anything that shines. Anything that shines. All that shines ain't gold. You know what? See what we have in common? It is. <laughs>